Hello guys, how are you doing? It's quite long since uh, I made a video, but a lot of it's been happening here and there. But uh, due to unavoidable circumstances, I decided to change my content to travel vlogs and interviews. Guys, I hope uh, you will enjoy my videos. And uh, today I'm in Fort Jesus in Mombasa. I want to show you how the beautiful view of Fort Jesus looks like. I hope you will enjoy. If you are new to this channel of J Media Network Television, I'm John from Kenya in Africa. Be sure to subscribe, give the video. So, guys, today in Mombasa we are experiencing some little rain, it's drizzling. Yeah, I hope, I hope you will enjoy guys. As I've said, if you are new to this channel, I'm John from Kenya in Africa. Hello, hello, hello guys. Welcome once again. And uh, so now I am with a beautiful lady known as Brenda who wanna take us through the map of Fort Jesus. Brenda, can you say hi to my fans? Hi everyone, my name is Brenda. We are doing a content about the forts. You're welcome. Yeah, and maybe if you are traveling to Fort Jesus, you can ask about Brenda in the entrance. She's she has told me that she's always here and uh, she will take you through through this uh, beautiful museum. So guys, at this point in time, let me allow her show us the the map of uh, Fort Jesus. Okay. Normally, say it resembles the body of a human being since it okay. has the head, the arms, the body, and the legs. Yes. So we normally say it looks like Jesus on the cross. Oh, so that's why it's called Fort Jesus. Yeah, the word Fort is a Portuguese mean name. Like okay. it means protected was the key word. Okay. And the Portuguese were the one who made the fort, and they were Christians, they were Roman Catholics. Okay. So that's why we call it Fort Jesus. Okay. Yeah. So in for Jesus, we normally visit the 17 sites. Door number 17 is the washroom, oh. which is just near the entrance. So you'll get to visit all these 16 sites. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Captain's house, passenger there. The passage of arches, ammunition stall, passage of steps, gun platform, audience hall, Portuguese wall painting, gift shop, museum gallery, administration block, chapel ruins, cistern, well, skeleton, replican, Oman house, and barracks. Oh, when was yeah. it built? The fort was built in the year 1593, of which we normally say 80% is its carving and 20% its construction and renovation. Okay. The foundation is uh, it was a road, it was a rock or leaf that was done carving. Okay. So, like these things I'm seeing here, they are the one the the, the Portuguese were using to fight, right? Yeah, these ones are cannons. There are three types of cannons. Cannons in Fort Jesus. Okay. They are the Portuguese cannon, Arabs, and the British. Okay, Fort Jesus was used by three different people: okay. the Portuguese, the Arabs, and the British. The first people to use the fort were the Portuguese, and the, the ones who constructed the fort in the year 1593. It took them three years to do the capture of the fort through the help of the local community, which was once significant by then. Okay. It took them three years. There okay. are 4,000 people inside here who are doing the carving. Okay. But, through the, but the people never had enough skills to do the raising of the wall, so they seek help from India, okay. where the Portuguese had placed their trade headquarters. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So the Portuguese used this place as a military base. At the same time, they were spreading Christianity and doing trade. Oh, the Portuguese good. stayed in the fort for 105 years and later the Arabs took off over in the year 1698 oh. and the Arabs stayed inside the fort for 198 years and okay. they were doing slave trade after the Arabs the British took over in the year 1896 okay. the British were using the fort as a prison they used to imprison the freedom fighters so like in a Mekatili, the Meka freedom. like Mekatilidi or Menza yeah okay yeah. so I guess we can begin our tour in the captain house eh? yeah 
this is the view of the head as we have said uh, Fort Jesus looks more of a cross and that's why they call it uh, Fort Jesus this is what, okay these are Portuguese cannon okay. these are weapons this is what they use to attack the enemies from the ocean side it's okay. not on its actual position okay. they are placed along the walls to kiangali uko kwa head kuna place kuna cannon yeah 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 i've seen it yeah so kondo to a place but on this side they used to insert uh, gunpowder mm -hmm. and on this other side they would make a cannonball but if they had gunpowder and a cannonball they would light and the pressure in the gunpowder would push away the cannon oh, okay, so okay. Kuna, these are ships they used to use wooden in Swahili they used to use Mtepe in English they used to use Daudi H-O-W if they had a cannonball the cannonball is metallic and it's heavy so if they had a break, brake they used to use the sink that's okay. how they used to attack the enemies and kill them. Oh, yeah. that's wow. Yes, so this is what? This is the passage of arches. Okay. It was one of the Portuguese main entrance. Okay. From Palachin, you can see there is an opening, though it may be on a grill. Oh, yeah. So nimesema during the British time huku yes. kulikuwa kuna tumika ka prison. So they had to seal all the openings to avoid the escape of prisoners. Oh, okay. So he wrote, And those pre or those prisoners were of course Africans, right? Yeah. Oh, prison so fighters. They were also they were also they, they, they were also using the slave traders. No. Prisoners when you alikuwa mefungiwa hapa during the British time ni wale walikuwa freedom fighters. Oh. Remember that the British were our colonizers. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. I'm getting, I'm getting. So that one was an entrance. Ilikuwa inatumika na Portuguese to bring in weapon. Na tukiangalia pale chini maybe tunaweza enda hapo tu. We can go we can go no yeah. problem. So they used to bring in weapons using this route and they would store their weapons inside here. Okay. Yeah. So hapo ni ammunition store. Ammunition store. Yeah. This is the ammunition store now. This one, right? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So but guys, have, uh, as she has said that uh, through that hindrance here, let me show you. This place here is where the Portuguese. You can say it is hindrance of the Portuguese where they they used to bring their weapons. And after bringing their weapons, they used to keep them here. Is this the, the in this ammunition store? You can see the way it looks like. It is very nice. It is very very nice. So guys, uh, if you wanna pay a visit to Fort Jesus, make sure you have pay a visit to ammunition. So, this is another passage. Okay. It's called the passage of steps. Yes. This is the route that the Portuguese used to bring in medicine and food. Okay. Yeah. It passage of it steps. It had an opening over there, okay. but it was sealed during the British time. Okay. You see, the British used this place as a prison, so they had to seal all the openings. And, oh, okay. Yeah. Passing of steps. Passage of passage steps. Passage of steps. Yeah. Oh, that's wow. That's great. That's great. Uh, okay, this is called the Mazrui Hall. Mazrui Hall. Uh, and Mazrui who is Mazrui? Ni, Mazrui ni Mwarabu. Rui Ali Mazrui. Ali Mazrui. Yeah. Was an Arab. Eh? Yeah. He ilikuwa inatumika ka parliament in Kiswahili it's normally known as baraza. This okay. is where they used to hold their meetings. Oh. Yeah, maybe you can show you the inside view now. So guys, uh, in Mazrui Hall, I've been told that this is the place whereby they used to hold their uh, meetings and this is how this place looks like over there we have some weapons over here we have some weapons we have two swords two shields and two knives that are known as kajar which one this one yeah these ones are known as kajar okay but in kenya tunazitanga daga and daga this, yeah this is the belt they used to tie the kajals along their waist and this one over here we have two swords and two shields Okay. This is a Yezinaka Kofi and shield. Okay. They are made from rhino skin. Oh. Because they are protect around the head area. Okay. Yeah. So they used to sit here. Yeah. Oh. And oh, this is great. Before they did the modification of the room, the place, the walls used to look like this. Okay. Because they need the, they did the modification now. Okay. And on this other side, you have a gun and its bullet. A gun and a bullet. 
Oh wow. It yeah. looks great. These are gun of the 15th 16th century, right? Yeah, the uh, the Arabs took over in the year 1698. So 1698. Yeah. So it's more of 17th century. Okay, okay, okay. So this is the these are the the members. Of, from this side you have a uh, British. Okay. The Arabs and okay. these are the local people, the the Indians who are involved in the construction of the train. Okay. Yeah. And over there you have a small kid. They made sure in every meeting they held there is a presence of a small kid due oh. to generation passage. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So these these guys over here are the Indians who, which were involved in their railway construction, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. Amani Wallis of Al Marzrui family in Mombasa, 1741. Okay, in this place we have the Portuguese wall paintings. Yeah. Let me take you inside. Oh. So these are the Portuguese paintings, huh? Yeah. You can see the sheep. Yes, this is how the Portuguese painting all his. Hey guys, I think you are enjoying this view. So guys, this is Omani doors. Mm, they are commonly used in the coastal area. And okay. Yeah. This is the, the original Omani door. Okay. It's from 1850s. It's yes. made from mahogany. Mahogany is an hardwood tree. Tukiangalia from the sides we have some chains. Okay. Like on flowers, like on some pillars. Okay. The pillars. Has it been open since uh, then? <laughs> it's just placed here for display. Okay. Behind the door, it's just a wall. Okay. This is the middle class Omani door. We we'll get to see the first class Omani door. This is the middle class yeah. Omani door. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is a secret passage. Okay. It was used as a secret route by the Portuguese soldiers to escape. Okay. But during the Arabs' time, yes. this is the route they used to drive out the prisoner, ah, the slaves, sorry. Okay. The slaves. Okay. Yeah, it has a tunnel inside. It has a tunnel. It had a tunnel, but it has been sealed. Okay. Yeah, this is the tunnel they used to drive the slaves out of the forts okay. to their big points. Mamangino was one of the main peak points of the slaves, so it has an underground tunnel that runs all the way to Mamangina. Okay. It was sealed here. Here it had an opening. That's good. Welcome, welcome. So guys, as you have seen uh, some few seconds ago, the middle class door, so this is the First class of money door. First class of money door. It has this paint okay. made from brass. Brass. Yeah. Oh. It looks look beautiful. That's a Portuguese canoe. So guys, this is a Portuguese canoe. So guys, at the top of the Fort Jesus is where by see this view of a beautiful Indian ocean you can look the way it's nice we have some houses over there we still have some visiting foreigners here so I hope you are enjoying this uh, video though though we are yet to Visit all parts of uh, Fort Jesus. <laughs> you can also see it from this area whereby this is a point whereby the Portuguese uh, used, to, used to detect uh, enemies from a far distance. And, um, I'm told that he, in this place there was they, were, they used to they also placed a canal yeah, to make sure that uh, their security tight so currently this is a shop okay Maybe you can show them what you have on the inside 
but during the Portuguese time, this place was used as a kitchen and store, and during the British time, this place was used as a prison for women. Prison for women? Yeah. Okay, so we also have prison for men. Portuguese were painting. Oh, these are Portuguese painting. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine, thank you. Can I come here? Yes. Portuguese, no? hmm. they look at men's prison. So she says that uh, the Portuguese wall painting is the one that uh, we, uh, was used uh, as a prison for, for men. gentlemen. No, we don't call them men, we call them men. gentlemen. So, guys, here we have our museum. Welcome and show them the museum now. Thank I you. Have to Thank the you, idea. Brenda. Mombasa Rick excavation. Are we starting? This area? And what are these? This is what the cost people used to grade the coconut with. Then you have to squeeze the whatever they have. The juice? No, I put the juice up. Okay, okay. And this is uh, these are models of the Naos or Utepe. Models of the? Models of Utepe. Utepe. Yeah. How do you call them in English? Those. 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 Yeah. Okay. And is this uh, the old version of guitar or something? A musical instrument made of wood, metal, and uh, calabash fruit, presented by Cocknell Kambani. We also have this this sword. And these are uh, these plates. Are uh, these the kind of plates they used to, to use? A ceiling tank with the blue bands acquired from Fort Jesus. How about this one? Oh, it's a senior. <laughs> okay, guys. So these are for selling. Arabic lines. These are Chinese jar. A dish with a broad lip. These are glazed glaciers. Uh, 
Chia or the ancient times. And this one is a Persian chest, probably 13th century. So this is how the museum looks like in Fort Jesus. A Portuguese storing jar, probably of the 17th century. <laughs> so, Mombasa Lake Excavation, mm. Wakenya, Walva Metunga Oxygen, Wakadai, Chini, Wakadai, 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 so inside here we are getting to the Baluch Galani. Baluch is a community. It's the intermarriage between Arabs and Indians. Over there we have a man from the Baluch community. He's a soldier. Okay. Yeah, they are soldiers. And to Kunona Venyonaka energetic. But it was an Arab so we came back up during the Yote Minyoruwa na fight. They are still. They do still exist along the coast in Wengi Sana. Maybe you can walk around or you see the Baluch community, how they dress, their culture, when you eco. Is she addressing? Yeah. These are some of the things on at Ingeleza. So these are some of the things that this Baluch family are making. The Baluch settlement and the culture of East African Baluch. These are the kind of clothes they make. These are the Baloch Kambatans. There's a view of uh, the Fort Jesus. Baloch crafts. family making the coming of the Baluch to the land of Zin. This is the location of Baluchia and the Baluch ancestry from up there. So you can look that at there. This is how the Baluch used to wear during those days. Baluch Jamadar, chronological holder. Baluch families who lived in Fort Jesus. She used to wear during the wedding. We are still in the Baluch family. These were their clothes and uh, all these. And these are little queens, festival and music. the Baluch family. Baluch, there's a Baluch wedding. The attire, the attire for Baluch. Mm. 
Keep the panuche the same. The Baluch community of Mombasa. Chairman Mombasa Baluch community in, from 1985. And who is this? Who is one of the family of Bandit? Okay. okay. So as we started, we okay. show the map of the fort. Okay. In Akad, the body of a human being, it has the head, the arms and the body, legs. Okay. So here we have the left leg. This is currently our administration block. Okay. But during the Portuguese time, it was to make a graveyard. It was used like a graveyard. Yeah. Okay. On this other side, these are the ruins of the chapel. The Portuguese okay. were Christians and Roman Catholics, so they okay. definitely had a church. Okay. And these are the remains of the church. Oh, these are the remains of the church? Yeah. Okay. So guys, this is a ship hunger. Yeah, in Swahili it's called Nanga. In Swahili it's called? Nanga. It's very heavy. Used to stop ships. Mm. Oh, great. So, guys, this is a well. Say that uh, they sank a well soon after they had captured for Jesus in 1698 AD. Okay, so, guys, this is uh, being told that this is a system. Mm, so? Yeah, a cistern is like a tank. Okay. This is what the Portuguese used to store their rain water. As you can see, uh, this is a place where Portuguese used to store their rain water. Rain water. Mm. So guys, uh, this is a uh, Portuguese rain toilet. Rain yes. And this is how it looked like. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So over here we have a replicant. Okay. Under the replicant now we have the real bones. Mm -hmm. Whoever is buried here is a Portuguese soldier and a priest. Okay. He's buried the Christian way, face facing west, arms and legs together. Okay. Yeah. So this is a gentleman who lied here in the during the colonization time. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. Hey, this is the money house now. Yes, this is uh, money house guy. Right? Let's go and check how it looked like. So this is a model of the town that the man used. Okay. And inside now we have the money house and they are waiting. This is a model of the boat they used to use. So guys, this is the Omani, Omani house, and the dressing. You can see the historical relations between Oman and East Africa. some uh, weapons here which were used by Oman, Omani Arabs.
Oh, this is how uh, the user dre dress the Humani herbs, which came to trade in the middle and the cost, coastal area. So these are their necklaces. And who is this? Who is one of the... That's an Omani man. Omani man? Mm -hmm. He resembles the Baluch family. No, that's not the Baluch. But he is resembling that gentleman there. So you see, he has like a blood on his face. Okay. And inside, yes, guys, this is our the Oman. Guys, as, as you can see from here, this is our Nohomani soldier in the watchtower. The watchtower. Just to detect uh, whether there are enemies. You can see we are still have canoes here. We use uh, as weapons. <sighs> and these are Omani toilets. Okay, so here we have the real skeleton of a hamba quail. It's a juvenile, it's a young adult. It's between the age of 19 to 24, and they can live up to 100 years. Whales are mammals, they give birth and definitely they breastfeed. Their milk, their milk is pink in color and 50% of it is fat. Yeah. So over here we have the backbone, this is the backbone. These are the ribs. Yeah, and on this other side we have the view of the head, it's so huge though. Use. Yeah, that's the head now. Yeah, it's a juvenile between the age of 19 to 24, and they can live up to 100 years. So you can try to imagine how an elder looks like. It is very huge. Yeah. Okay, this is what they used to kubeba the queen. Okay. It's kind of a train. I'll go and get it like this. So that's how the queen used to sit. Eh? Yeah, and then an abuja from the behind. The one can Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's good. So guys, this is an ancient train. You can see the way it looks. Guys, that's our watchtower. Yeah, over there we have a watchtower. In for Jesus, we have eight watchtowers. Watchtowers is because in Atumika to observe or two. Detect enemies from far, a yeah, distance. Yeah, thank you. Oh, welcome. Yeah. Okay, remember when I started, I said the Portuguese used this as a military base, so these are the ruins of the barracks. Okay. Ruins of the barracks. So, guys, this is a view of the Fort Jesus. I hope you're enjoying every bit of this video. is the view of Fort Jesus so for those guys who, who have never been in Fort Jesus welcome those who are watching us from abroad and have never been here feel welcomed to come pay a visit to Fort Jesus and I know you will enjoy every bit of this place so what's that so over here we have a cannonball. Okay. The cannonball. 
Okay. So these were the bullet. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, and it is heavy. So guys, this is a, a cannonball, which was used uh, as a bullet. Yeah. By the Portuguese. So guys, Here this is, is uh, a store. Yeah, this is and we have been told to mind our head for those who are those who are giraffes like me. So this is what they used to store their gunpowder. This is what they used to store their gunpowder. Their gunpowder. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, this is the area here for Hold Mombasa. Hold Mombasa town. This is how it looks like. You can see those cannons over there. This is uh, our Kenyan flag. We are proud Kenyans. This is how this area looks like. Yes. We have cannons over there. Guys, that is how what is in uh, Fort Jesus in Mombasa. I hope uh, you have enjoyed every bit of this video. Thank you very much. If you are a turning subscriber, thank you very much and may God bless you. If you are a new subscriber, welcome and uh, feel at home. My name is John of J Media Network Television. Until the next video, and may God bless you very, very much. Bye bye. I love you so much.